Good morning, children. Today we are going to see about the Thevenin theorem. So, what is the Thevenin theorem? Thevenin theorem states that any two bilateral linear uh, DC network having a number of voltage and current sources and resistance. Say, for example, we are having uh, a complex circuit like this. Okay. Um, so, number of voltage sources, current sources, and resistance can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage sources that is V Thevenin and a series resistance R Thevenin with the load resistance open. So, first we are opening this load resistance. This is the, after that, <coughs> we are adding the load resistance in the series with that. Okay. So, uh, say for example, if uh, here it is a load resistance is there. So, now what we are doing is we are opening this circuit. Okay. So, this opening this A and B terminal and we are finding out the V terminal and R terminal. And after that, after calculating this V Thevenin and R Thevenin, so say for example, this is the complex network, that can be converted into uh, this uh, V Thevenin and R Thevenin. After that, uh, we are connecting the load resistance here. These are the procedure for uh, uh, application of the Thevenin theorem. So first uh, uh, step is open circuit the terminal A and B. This open circuit, first uh, uh, say for example, any uh, this uh, network. So you, if you take this as A and B, open circuit this uh, terminal. So A and B with respect uh, to which the Thevenin equivalence is uh, calculated. Okay. Next, uh, find the <coughs> voltage across the terminal A and B uh, when they are open circuit. So we need to find the voltage across the Say, for example, if you are opening, so you need to uh, find out the voltage across the open circuit. That is nothing but uh, your V Thevenin voltage of the open circuit voltage. It may be calculated by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law or Kirchhoff's current law or superposition theorem or node and uh, misanalysis depending upon the complexity of the circuit. So, any theorems that you can use. Okay. Either it is Kirchhoff's voltage law, current law, or mode analysis, mesh analysis. So we need to find out the V Thevenin or open circuit voltage. That's all. Next, third step to find the ISE, that is short circuit current through the terminal C and B when they are uh, short circuit. Okay. So we need to find out the ISE by when it is short circuit. In uh, while solving the problem, we'll uh, see that in detail. Next, uh, determine the value of Thevenin's equivalent resistance RTH or looking back uh, or looking back resistance. So, so we need to find out the uh, Thevenin's uh, resistance. That is all um, resistance, all the resistance. Uh, um, say for example, if it is connected in uh, uh, parallel or the series, so you need to convert uh, by using. Uh, say, say for example, if it is connected in the uh, parallel, you need to find out the parallel resistance. After that, uh, these two resistance are connected in series. You need to connect, uh, connect them. Equivalent uh, uh, resistance. That is called your Thevenin's resistance. Okay. And after that, uh, uh, this uh, RTH can be found, found out by this uh, VTH divided by IS. Okay. Whatever the VTH voltage divided by the short circuit current. Next step. Next step. If the, all the sources in the original network are dependent, the equivalent Thevenin resistance is equal to the total resistance at the open circuited terminal A e and B. So if it is a, uh, independent, if it is independent, the Thevenin equivalent circuit is equal to the total resistance at the open circuit terminals looking back into the network. When all the voltage sources are replaced by the short circuit at the ideal uh, sources are replaced by the open circuit. So, all the voltage sources, ideal voltage sources are replaced by the short circuit. So, we need to short circuit the um, voltage source. Say, for example, um, here is the voltage source. So, we need to short circuit this voltage source. Then only you need to find out the equivalent resistance. Say, for example, if it is a, a current source, um, so you need to um, open circuit. So, and all the ideal current sources are replaced by the open circuit. So, you need to open circuit the Current source. Next step, fifth step. Uh, next step, draw the Thevenin's equivalent network between the Thevenin's uh, terminal A and B 
by connecting the voltage source VTH in series with the RTH. Next, the external circuit that was removed in the step one now reconnected. Say, for example, this load resistance we removed, no? So now it is uh, re uh, reconnected here. Okay. So after that, after calculating VTH and RTH, you need to connect this load resistance here. Okay. This load resistance should connect again here. Okay. The, then you need to find out the load current. It is noted that the polarity of the uh, VTH is such that it produces the current in the external circuit in the same direction as the original circuit produced. So whatever the polarity, say for example, if you are removing that uh, voltage source and you are adding the new VTH there, if the polarity is uh, in the reverse side, say for example, it is minus and plus, you need to replace that uh, with the correct polarity, whatever given in the original circuit. So these are the steps uh, involved in calculating the uh, Thevenin's uh, um, theorem. So you need to um, understand the step, then only you can solve the problem.